Okay. Uh, 72 hours is not too long for a candidate uh, to ask uh, to consider an offer. So, so you give the offer, the candidate says, I want three days, and that's okay. And Amy Miller, uh, who's, I believe, one of the gods of recruiting in the world at this time, she says, I give people a week and I still have 90% plus, a 90% plus closing rate. And nearly all of my candidates have competing offers. I never get tired of winning against asshole. <laughs> she Wait wonders why people fight with her. I never get tired of winning against asshole recruiters who demand near immediate decisions. Okay. Yeah, that she's she's called she's offering from Amazon. What else do you need? Uh, business. I think what Mario is saying <clears throat> oh, Jesus is uh, try try pulling that shit when you have a, a job that you're trying to get them into where they're at a thirty thousand dollar base and there's fifteen other offers that might be coming their way in the next five days. And you can't yeah. offer free prime membership. <laughs> Come on. We all know that uh, the the big the fan companies offer some of the best benefits and salaries okay and end of day money matters money talks okay yeah. well i'm going to mention another name ed han he yeah. says 78 hours is okay i'm corporate and i'm perfectly aware that they're considering other alternatives if those guys can close them good for that or better a decline than a backfill three months later so if they've if they've got a good offer I want them to take it. I don't want them to change their mind after they've uh, accepted. He, he's he's employing the same type of mentality. Then, what what he's implying is that if I lose them, I, I lose them. I better have another five backups ready to go. He didn't say he's got backups. He said, "If I uh, he, one second, Ellie." He said, "He said if I'm gonna if I lose them, I was gonna lose them anyway, even if they accepted my offer." That's what he's saying. There was a good chance.